Hello and welcome to app number six. We're calling this one the cat factory, as in lol cats. It's going to be fun. What exactly is a lol cat factory? Well, it may be a bit of a stretch of the title, but it's going to look like this. So we're going to have our standard header. And then I happen to know of a web service that will give you a random lol cat. It's a very important service on the internet. We're going to use it to return data to our app. Previously in the weather app, we had used requests to make HTTP requests against the weather site and actually get the HTML's text. But now we're going to work with binary data in the form of cat pictures. And then we're going to write that to a binary file, which is quite different than using text files. Finally, you can see at the bottom it says launching output folder in Finder. So we're going to start a sub process from our app. And if this was running on Windows, it would say launching output in Explorer. So what core concepts are we going to cover in this app? Well, it's going to be a little bit shorter than the previous two marathon apps, but we're going to come back and talk about HTTP clients again, this time with binary data. And we said we're going to save those to binary files and we're going to use sub processes launching other applications from within ours to actually interact and display those pictures to the user. We're also going to come back to this OS independent file and folder management and do a little bit more than we had been previously doing with our other apps. All right, so let's get to it.